Hey, Star Wars and GA fans. Mort here at Fort Mort. So today we're gonna to talk about ally points. And with ally points, I don't think people realize how important they are. I've searched the internet over and over and I found videos of people just click, 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 click. I don't wanna watch that boring stuff. So I went ahead and did the boring work. In a minute here, I'll show you. I ran through about, I believe, 462,000 ally points. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes, actually two hours, because I had to write down everything I was getting. Whether you're a new player or you're a veteran player, there are rewards that pay off, especially for the veteran player, because when you start getting into relics now, you're talking about needing to break down those materials with the scavenger so that you can get your relic pieces built up. The other part of that is as a veteran, whenever you get extra shards, you can turn them in into the shard store and get gear, which we'll go through in a minute. I'll go ahead and give you the breakdown sheet right here. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as I'm transitioning here, you'll see the sheet and I'll zoom in on this when I edit this in. But in the upper corner here, you'll see I ended up getting 203 spins where I had a shard drop of anywhere from one to 50. We'll get into the total that I ended up getting and who I got in just a second. If you look here, you have your character shards that are available. So Ahsoka Tano, Clone Trooper, uh, I believe that's Rex if I'm not mistaken. Old Daka, she's a big one that we use and all the way to end game. Ewok Elder, Greedo. So there's a bunch on this list that do get used in game all the way through. This list is all the ones I end up having dropping. So on my alt, I had one drop of Ewok Elder and I had 77 drops of Ewok Elder on my main for a total of 78. So in all, I'm not gonna go through this whole list, but I'll leave it up here for you for a minute or you can pause the video. You can see all the drops I had in total. I'll scroll it down here slowly so you can see it. In all of those, all those spins, I end up getting 637 shard drops. Now, if you add that up, if you had all those characters, the game would automatically exchange your shards at the shard store for 9,555 shards. That's a lot of shards. It would take you a long way to General Grievous, I'll tell you that right now. There's only two places to get him. He's the meta. is the fleet arena, which he's rarely in, and then the shard store, which he's always in. So if you've got them shards to spend, that's a great way to do it. Then if you look at the great gear too, a lot of this gear here is really good. You got your golds, your purples. So there's plenty, plenty of reason to get those ally points and convert them to shards. What I know a lot of players are doing, they're asking in my guild, should I spend my ally points right here in the weekly shipments? Well, I'm looking at it and there's 15 prestige for a ship. Most people don't do ships anyway. You should get your ships at a minimum to where you start getting the Zetas out of the fleet challenges from the ship ability materials. So don't discount ships either, guys. But back to point, for 150,000 ally points, yes, you can get rid of them all like that, but you're only getting 15 prestige. You're getting, I think the best I've seen is 10 stun guns for 50,000. I know that's tempting. Maybe you take it, maybe you don't, but I'm telling you for every, just about everything else, you wanna spend your ally points to get these other things. You've got Grievous, you've got armor mods, you've got pulse modulators, which are great for slicing and they're hard to find. The only thing that would be nice is if we can get Capital Games to actually give us a one push button to spend all or some of our ally points. That would be amazing. Overall guys, it takes me about 20 minutes to run through about 50,000 ally points. I usually build up to 50,000 and then run through them about 20 minutes, about every week and a half. So, I mean, and they're nice because they just come. You really don't even pay attention. They come through different things you do in the game. For those of you that may be kind of new to the game, when you get up to Relic 13, which is the highest gear level, when you go into the scavenger here, if I can click on him, there we go. You can go in and trade in your gear that you don't use, that you have a ton of. Say I have 4,916 here, and I can exchange that for pieces to build on my relics. So that's why it's important to use your ally points. For this exercise, I built up to 400,000 just so I could see and get some numbers and data for you guys. The point of this video though, guys, is I might not know everything, but I know this is smart. So use your ally points, take the time to go ahead and grind through. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with this up so you guys can pause it and look through it if you'd like. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel to help me grow. If you guys have any video ideas or suggestions, let me know. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time at Fort Mort. Have a good day. Shut up and sit down.